See the fellows. Have y'all seen fuel prices lately? But instead of paying for fuel, why don't we make some of our own? Let's go. We have come to source the raw material for our prospective fuel. And uh, right here we have something of a cesspit that they dump waste into. And believe me when I say that there is plenty of fuel here. And it's pretty deep, but let's get us some of that, let's go! We got the raw material, now we need a container for us to pour it into. It'll get processed, that'll produce the fuel. Specifically, a gas called methane, which we intend to use to power a car. Right, while we have a drum, a lid for it as well, we just need to make a filler neck. For the purpose, we'll use the bottom part of a gas canister, we'll just need to make a cap, and we'll have made our filler neck. We are painting the tank black, for it to get even hotter in the sunlight. This is the lovely tank we've made, which is pretty much a fuel tank. The reason I'm saying that is decomposition of organic and non-organic matter is going to be occurring inside of it, with it turning into flammable methane gas, which will then be fed into the engine. As for the car itself, you'll see that we've prepped it to give it a thematic look. While it used to be blue, it has now become a sh I mean... It is now colored like the material we'll be extracting fuel from. Honestly, it's just a regular Lada with a standard engine and all of that. Same can't be said about the fuel, but let's carry on. Day 1, Day 2. Okay, we've loaded the material in. Now we wait for the bacteria to do their thing. It's going to take some time to produce the methane gas. We'll need to track the temperature and, of course, the internal pressure. Day 10. Now, in order to facilitate the process of gas production, We'll be using some of this stuff, which is of course regular old grass, which we're going to be adding to the raw material to make the fuel. So crack open the tank, add the grass, seal it and wait for the fuel production to occur, let's go! Day 21. Now we have a hunch that stirring the material is giving us better results, and so that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Day 34. It has gotten chilly outside. And the gas generator has also cooled down. That impedes the production of fuel, meaning we needed to heat it up. The simple solution was making a fire underneath it, but we need to keep an eye on the temperature, not overheat the material and not kill all of the bacteria. Because if we do, that means we're not making any fuel. But let's heat this up and continue the production process. Day 62. So the gas... 
that we were extracting from the biofuel, I meant to say from biological raw material. It is ready and let's see if it burns or not. Oh, look. I mean, burns pretty well. As long as we don't smell it. This is good enough, I mean, don't even need to try it. We are good to drive on this, I think. Now, what I think we should do is put this gas into a bottle. We'll use tire tubes for initial extraction to then transfer the gas to a bottle. All right, let's do this. So we've connected a compressor, we got the hose attached, but we forgot that we're pulling gas out as opposed to inflating something. It was a small section hose, but now we've put the compressor onto the tank, and via a larger section hose we'll be extracting the gas. The smaller one didn't work, but let's carry on. Okay, guys, the system is ready, here we have the tank. There's a fitting up there. Going off of it, we have a hose. Through said hose, the gas flows. That's connected to a compressor. And from the compressor, the gas goes straight into the fuel pump. It's a simple and tried solution. You would have seen us utilizing it a number of times. But we're ready to begin the testing. Though getting the fuel prepared took us a long time. The gas that was coming out earlier on wasn't even burning, to be honest. But we gradually got to the point where it was producing flammable gas. This is methane, after all, it does burn. And it doesn't even stink. Danger. Okay, let's start the engine and set everything up for proper operation. You ready, Sergei? Yep. Come on now. A bit more air. It runs. For real. All right, we are ready. We seem to have gotten everything set up. And let's see, I prefer the revs to be higher. It should promptly fire up. And let me dial in some more. The thing is, I'm supposed to simultaneously... It runs. Though engine operation is a bit unstable. I would like it to do better. And we're off. I'll just keep the engine at these revs, not even going to touch the gas pedal. Let's see. And I bring the speed up a notch. Oh no, this is getting worse. I need to be smooth adjusting this. Let's see. And I'm running out of gas. And I need to drive for as much as it's got in it. That made it slightly worse, I think. This is hard, adjusting two things at once. The gas pedal... And the fuel supply at the same time. And that's it. I made it this far, the pressure, and we're out of gas. Yeah, well, that's the thing, where can we find 220 volts out here? We can try connecting the hose directly. That sounds sketch. As long as there's enough pressure in the tank, but I don't think there is. 
If it starts blowing out, that'll tell us it's good. Okay, let's see how much range whatever is in the tank will give us. Let's go. Okay, so we connect the hose. Sergey will open up the tap and we'll be good. Yeah, there we go. Let me give it a bit of gas. Wait a second. That's good. Leave it like that. I don't like how it's operating, though. Even though all cylinders are firing, it feels as if one is misfiring. I'm gonna try driving. I am a bit worried, but then I shouldn't be. As long as there's pressure in the tank, the thing will drive. It's not backfiring, nothing like that. So we should do just fantastic. It is losing power, though. I have to be really gentle with my throttle inputs. Literally feathering it. And if it stalls now, it's not gonna start back up. Or maybe it will? Oh, look, it didn't even stall. The engine is still running, and even while turning at really low revs, it's producing some torque. And the car is even moving quite well and confidently. Come on now. I think we're done. It was driving uphill, already starting to cough. But it was still pulling that tank, wouldn't you know? At such low revs, I was expecting it to stall back there, but it was still chugging along. What can I tell you? The biofuel works. I so wanted to call it sh Anyway, this wasn't a massive success. It was a bit of a makeshift setup, but it worked. This was a headache, took us a couple of months to do. But ultimately, we got it to work. You saw it all for yourselves, and that's all I got for you. Watch us consider subbing, and catch you later. I got a question. Shoot. What are we gonna do with this thing now?